Oh yes, new stun number 4 finally, unlocked by this event. This event is called Abilities Hacked, with the intrusion picture of the watchdogs, a little bit weird. So there is fixed ability set of time phase, booby trap and sabotage. And uh, this event limited only for the team mods, so you can vote for manhunt, uh, manhunt artifact assault or domination. Anyway, what we should do is to stun the pursuer to uh, complete the community challenge already completed, so stun number 4 unlocked for all the personas. We have a lead challenge, is a booby trap, need to kill at least 5 players with the booby trap. And once you complete at least one match during this event, you will get a title of the inventor. And we have some special offers in Abstergo store. Costumes for Navigator. I think all of them. On the 30% discount. Not so many people are playing this event, but still can find matches. Let's take a look at the event leaderboard. Okay, I get play 10 sessions. Anyway, I play maybe around 20 sessions, just it's updated once per 6 hours. So anyway, the objective is just stun pursuers and you will get to the leaderboard. Pretty easy. Now let's take a look at the stun animations. You see, now we have stun number 4, totally 6 stuns. So stuns are different for female characters and male characters. You see for the navigator it's firstly kick, kick by the foot and later punch to the face. Female characters is opposite. Uh, it just like slap the face and, and face to the knee. So I will take the, uh, this stun number 4 for Lady Black, it's my Lady White. And another for the male character for the Buccaneer. And now let's see these stuns in real action. I have played this event uh, live on Twitch with the face cam, so if you want to see the matches, you just come to my uh, Twitch in the profile, I have highlighted some of these matches. So I will sh show here some just stun animations only for Lady Black and later for the Buccaneer. Uh, but I think uh, later I will post on YouTube also a couple of these matches, full matches, just related to that stun animations. Because I know recently I played too much of the, too many of the Watch Dogs, too many dogs, and you hate me to play so much of the Watch Dogs. I, I don't I don't I didn't forget about uh, AC4 multiplayer and Assassin's Creed. No, of course I'm still in love with this and I'm playing it. Just sometimes I start something I need to finish. So if now I start Watch Dogs, so I just play in Watch Dogs. And um, what I see in the nearest future that uh, as there is no actual multiplayer in the AC Unity, well. It's maybe uh, not so good news, but it's also positive news anyway. Uh, you, get, you can see now more players go back to AC3, uh, AC3 Revelations and Brotherhood. And um, sure, I also I would like to go back to AC3. I, I love the Revelations. I was not so good on Brotherhood, so I should give it a try. So that, there is always positive moments. So don't be so badly disappointed. Anyway, I think for, for, for the, this multiplayer, it was always two different games. So I always think, uh, I always just, I, I think every one of you uh, have the feeling that in Assassin's Creed multiplayer, the multiplayer is completely different game. And obviously it's different characters, different game mechanics, different controls. So it's completely def different executables. So I think one day, uh, like Ubisoft, they realize that, well, they are selling two games for the price of the one. So they think, mm, yeah, why? Maybe they should separate uh, single player, pay one price, and later, if somebody wants multiplayer, also probably should sell it. 
at the time of the Brotherhood, they couldn't, they were not able to sell multiplayer because if they sell multiplayer separately for the separate price as a separate game, probably nobody will play. But so far, the multiplayer uh, has a pretty big community, so maybe they will start, they consider to start to sell multiplayer, I guess. That was short preview of the event, so have a nice game.